This is the qua. It's where your leg joins with your pelvis. This is so key to mobility. And in internal martial arts, it's so important to be able to open this up so that we can move. We have these stretches that take us down here. So this, I mentioned in the video that martial artists should be able to get up from the ground on their feet without using their hands. Well, how can you do that? If you have an open qua, then you can just come right up, right? So you get knocked down, you can still get up. You can't do that if you're not able to open up your qua. This is also super important to keeping your knee health and alignment. Most people stand with collapsed knees like this, right? If you just take a look at yourself, so stand up and just kind of take a look at where the alignment of your own knees go down. If you look down at your toes, does your knee collapse in? A lot of people have this mistaken idea that they have bad knees and that they have to strengthen up around the knees. That's not true. Your knees only serve one purpose and that's just to be a hinge. I've torn my ACL three times. I've had two ACL surgeries in my right knee and I've had one ACL surgery in my left knee. It hasn't hindered my ability to get down and move because all the knee needs to do is be a hinge. If you can keep it within alignment, it doesn't need to do anything more than be a hinge. So we have to strengthen up our, in the areas that are actually more important. If you can keep your feet, your glutes, your core strong, then the knees only need to serve as a hinge. But if you don't have your glutes strong, then your quad is closed and your knees collapse in. And over time, all that wear and tear with your knee out of alignment will cause a lot of knee damage when you get older. This is also why if you can engage your glutes, then you can open up that quad and then keep your knee in alignment. And then in our Tai Chi movements, this is so important because when you shift your weight forward and back, as we turn, right, how many people, because their quad is collapsed and closed, they come back and they turn their knees all twisted in, this is so bad for your knees. And then also, if you then get pushed this way and your knees collapse in, then you crumple and fall. But if you can keep your quad open, then you can rotate like a ball. So you keep your quad open, you keep your knee over your toes, then you have mobility. All right? And then if you can keep your quad open, your pelvis, becomes the shape of an arch. We want to be able to rotate like a ball. If you think about like what is the most mobile shape, it's a ball. A ball can roll anywhere. That's how we want to be able to move in our pelvis area. So we want this area to be like the shape of a ball. That lower back, this part is relaxed. This Ming Min point, directly opposite your belly button, the Ming Min point, this point pushes backwards so that you have the sense of being inflated. Then you can imagine if a ball were to sit here, it can rotate everywhere. So you come back, you turn, you come forward. then you can be mobile. You can go anywhere. You can go backwards. You can go forwards. You can come up for a kick. You can come back down. Then you can move like a ball. So all of that is what the qua can do. A little bit more about the importance of the qua.